Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Shooting in a studio can be pretty daunting, especially if it's something that you're not used to doing, and even more so if you're shooting on film. So I'm going to take you through three different super simple setups that I use all the time, which allow you to be more present and focused on taking photos as opposed to fiddling around with a bunch of different lights. So by far the easiest way to light is natural light. And I know this sounds like a bit of a cop out, but it is a really great way to use a studio. Now I know not all studios have good natural light, but this is definitely something that you can look for whilst you're renting somewhere out. So we have natural light in the studio, which is a pretty obvious thing to use, basically. You have a window, not in control as much, which is one of the main problems because today thankfully is a nice day, there is sun coming through, but because it's so unpredictable that's why it's nice to have external lighting in your repertoire. In this case we've got the backdrop set up to the side of the window, so the light comes in and angles like that onto the person's face. You can see we've got some tin foil up and that's because these four windows are frosted but the last one isn't. And you can actually see down here, light comes through the non-frosted ones and makes like a harsh mark, which is why I had this one done, but now it's later in the day, it's coming through another window. And when I'm shooting with this, I basically just have the subject sat away from the, the backdrop. And I like to use a reflector, or you could have a V-flat. And depending on how I want it to look, I either have this set to just black or just white, not a shiny thing. And what that does is either adds light into the side of their face, or remove light, so it can you can basically shape the like the size of their face, or not the size, the shape of their face. So if you wanted them to look more angular, you add the black one in, and it will just make one side of their face a lot lighter than the other. Or if you want it to be nice and even, you change it to the white side. Something that could make how I've got the studio set up even better is to have my backdrop on stands as opposed to attached to the wall. This way, I'd then be able to move the backdrop on where my subject is, because you can't move the light, you have to move that. So. This is something which probably would help, but I actually prefer the light to come in from the side anyway, so I'm not too upset about it. The reflector actually gives a huge amount of control. It really allows you to shape the uncontrollable light and actually control the scene. And since it's continuous lighting, it's actually really easy to see what you're doing. It's not like using a flash and kind of moving something and having to look at the photo to see what you've done. You can see it with your eyes. For a long time, I only ever used the white side of my reflector, but recently, I've been trying to use the black side a lot more, and I actually really like the way it looks. So option number two is a one light softbox setup. And I do actually wonder sometimes, when you nail this look, why there's any point setting up the extra lights, because it really does look good enough. Probably the method I actually use the most is this umbrella. I've used it in another video before. You've probably seen roughly what it does. This is basically a way of making a transportable softbox. So this is all white, the flash flashes into it, the white goes bright and flashes back out. And I use this with a cover, which then diffuses the light even more. Imagining your subjects here, I like the light to be the least facing them as possible. So I've done a few different examples for these photos where the first one, say, the light is coming straight at me. And I took photos gradually turning this away because the light that comes out right off the edge is the most feathered and softest. So to me, that's the, the most appealing light. I like really soft light if I'm trying to use this. If I want hard light, I'll use the direct flash. So what I'm trying to do is turn this until it's just barely catching their face. If this was water, not light, you can imagine that this shaped thing would spray water out all the way around this edge and the water would keep coming out. This water, you basically want it, so you'd just be getting wet, you know? Just there, comes across, and then I, again, add in this thing on the white side, so you'd have this just filling in their face, so this catches, hits this, fills in. Imagine this is white, I'm not gonna change it because it takes ages. This is the setup. Once again, using that reflector really adds a second layer of depth when you're only working with one light. But unlike natural light, because it's not continuous, it is quite hard to see the difference that you're making. So if you were shooting with digital, obviously you can just look at the photos on the back of your camera or shooting tethered on your computer. But on film, 
You kind of just have to experiment a bit and over time you'll learn what it looks like. And so to help you, here are some options with and without the bounce and also versus what the natural light at the time also looked like. So the final look is a bare bulb flash. This is just a grown up version of what you'd find on a 35mm point and shoot. It's just bigger, brighter, and more widely spread light. And it really doesn't get more simple than this to set up. I guess the most kind of simple way you can light in a studio is just a bare bulb flash. In this case, there's a, I don't know even what you call this, it's like a hood covered in shiny stuff which just spreads the flash wider. So if we're using a wide angle, it should be equal spread of light. And you just point it at the subject, in this case there's a wall, with obviously someone in front of it and no diffusion, nothing, just hard, straight flash. And the way I think this looks best is when you have the light pretty much level with your camera lens. So if this is where the light's coming out, I want it perpendicular to the wall and to have my camera lens as close to the light as possible. And this means when the light's coming out, so in this case like that, the subjects there won't be like a big shadow on them. It should just be a very small line around their jaw and next to them on the wall. If you have it too high and angled, you can get like a shadow from their nose covering their eye or their face, and then you can't see them. Flat on, kind of head level, lens as close as possible. Okay, let me know which of these three setups you actually like the photos most from. I think in this particular shoot, the natural light ones came out really nice but we were really lucky with the light on the day. And if it was more gray, I'd probably prefer the ones with the softbox. And also, here's some additional photos we took outside after. Maybe you even prefer them and think what's the point of a studio anyway. And finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to do anything with a website, whether it's purchasing a new domain, starting a blog, opening an online store, making a new photography portfolio, or anything, you should definitely check out Squarespace. It's really easy to get professional results without any prior web developing experience, and there's a bunch of amazing themes to get you started. Now that you've got all this newfound spare time, maybe it's the perfect time to finally update your portfolio. And what's great is, if you sign up using the code negative feedback, you can get 10% off your order. So, what are you waiting for? Go and get yourself a lovely new website today. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna be back next week. Uh, not really going anywhere, so expect something else filmed inside. Maybe, if you're lucky, I was thinking it could be a nice time to start doing some live streams and uh, just chatting, because I kind of miss talking to people, so uh, see you soon.